Hi, and thanks for joining us on the science webinar. My name is Shane Troy, and I'm one of the teachers in the science department. I'm hoping to give you a clearer picture of some of the science courses we offer at Cabin Institute. I would encourage you to check out the different courses at our website, cabininstitute.ie. If you're anything like me, you'll think of a question later tonight that you should have asked in the Q&A. If that does happen to you, then please email the science department at shanetroy at and I'll we'll do our best to help you out. If you can leave a question now, then please ask us in the Q&A section. We'll be taking some time to look at our questions coming in later in the webinar. So first things first, we have a variety of awards on offer in the science department. And I'm going to speak first about the Lab Techniques Award. My colleague Maliki will speak about the Animal Care and Animal Science Awards. I'm going to come back and talk about the really exciting opportunity to study the first year of the IT Sligo General Science degree that runs the Cabin Institute. One of last year's students, Mark McGuire, will then speak about his experience at Cabin Institute and his opinion of the Laboratory Techniques Award. In the Q&A, you will see a number of links to YouTube videos where we have conversations with past students and see some of the career options that will become available after completing one of our courses. Don't forget to give us a like on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, as we'll help you get a picture of what life is like at Cabin Institute. To wrap things up, we'll answer any incoming questions as best we can, but we do have moderators on hand to answer any questions either privately or in the Q&A so everyone can benefit. My main job tonight is to help you get a greater understanding of whether Cavan Institute and science is right for you. Trying to decide what is right for you is a big decision, but a year at Cavan Institute will help you to get a feel for whether science is the path you want to follow. If you find out it isn't, which can happen, it won't be a wasted year. We like to throw around words like skills and proficiencies a lot, but ultimately, would a year studying at Cavan Institute be wasted, or would you have gained some maturity, experience and confidence? Would you have gained a greater understanding of the world around you? Would you be better prepared for life and what it's going to throw at you? In my opinion, the answer is a simple yes. A lot of our students have deferred their third level course to pick up science subjects or to simply gain experience that will help them to succeed in life. Others are coming back to education after a few years out and may be very intimidated by subjects like maths and chemistry. And just to point out, we assume no prior science knowledge and we start from scratch. We also start with the basics of maths and we work from there. Often our mature students are the most intimidated by these subjects and the most successful, as they already have the ambition to do well and they know what they want. For some, it's simply a mindset. You can do it, especially with our support. But let's be real, maths and chemistry are difficult subjects. The models of assessment in QQI level five and six courses allow you the best chance to succeed. That makes of continuous assessment and exams, if there even is an exam, enables a student to achieve great results. Ultimately, you are the driver of your life and in the science department and Cabin Institute, we want to help you steer. There are lots of supports to help you along the way and it's worth looking at our website to find out more about them or get in touch with us at admin at cabinistry.ie. Okay, so the first and the longest running course in the science department is the Science and Laboratory Techniques course, which although the name isn't as attractive as one would like, has been one of our most successful. We often call it the pre-university science course. That's because you study biology, chemistry, physics, maths, and IT. This is a science heavy course, but these modules make up the core subjects of most first year science degrees across Ireland and the UK. In addition, you study microbiology and anatomy and physiology, which are often studied at second year. Former students have progressed on to most science degrees around Ireland, and notably to the high points courses like Ag Science in UCD. Over the last few years, a lot of our former students have gone on to study radiology in the UK and Scotland, 
and are now working on the front line in high paying and rewarding careers. We even have a few who went into teaching. And some of this year's students are going on to do science in Trinity, science in TKIT, clinical measurement in TU Dublin, radiography in UCD, and as a first for the science department to study medicine in Ireland. And we have another student who's going to study medicine overseas. These are just some examples of this year's students who've come out of an uncertain and difficult year with a stronger CV. They will do much better in third level than if they had not come to Cabin Institute. Some of these students had deferred their courses and used the year to gain more subject expertise or skills in areas like referencing, academic writing, and in general, a more rounded science and mathematical knowledge. It is a simple fact backed up by research that students who go to third level from a PLC have much greater completion rates than those who go directly from the insert. Simply put, they are ready for college. So the next course that I want to talk about is the Applied Science Forensics course. Now I teach the forensics module and I love this course. To me, it's endlessly fascinating and we get such a variety of students doing it. I've kept in touch with a lot of former students and some have gone on to do masters in the area of criminal justice and forensics. We even have a former student in the last throes of her PhD in toxicology. The typical forensic student has a thirst for finding the truth and an interest in forensics and the law. One of the ways to make friends in life is to have a shared interest. And the modules studied allow us to spend time exploring forensics and to gain an understanding of concepts like the CSI effect. Now, the CSI effect is complicated, but simply put, crime investigation shows can skew the expectations that people have about what can and can't be discovered using forensics analysis. We focus heavily on developing a real understanding of how bias can affect us and why critical thinking is important. We look at different types of evidence collection that are common in forensics, and more importantly, spend a lot of time practicing these techniques. You will look at fingerprints, how to find and collect them, how to analyze them. You will get a chance to cast footprints. You will look at hair and fibers and learn to distinguish between hair types and see different fiber under the microscope. You will also look at the basics of DNA and DNA profiling. We also look at blood and blood spatter analysis. In addition to these forensic techniques, you will look at the criminal mind and criminology and get an understanding of the basics of criminal law. Some of this year's students are using the course to help in their application to Angorda Shikona. As an aside, all members of the Technical Bureau, as the guys in the white coats you see at crime scenes, are members of the Gardaí. Others are progressing on to GMIT to do science, and each year we have a number of students who go to Dublin or Sligo to study forensics. For those heading to Sligo, they can also do the first year of the Sligo science degrees at Cabin Institute, which I'll talk about later. Another course that may be of interest is the nutrition and health course. This is sometimes called food science, but is the award that's the same award as our previous two courses. Now, food, nutrition and health are obviously incredibly important and affect literally everyone. The world is full of misinformation and nutrition is one area where pseudoscience is rife. Getting a better understanding of how nutrition affects our individual health and the health of society can lead to a variety of careers. You will study nutrition and look at food from a variety of different perspectives. You will spend time looking at food processing and the different ways we change our food to make it last longer and taste better. You will also spend time exploring the negatives of food processing and how tasting better may not be better for us. This area of science is rapidly growing and expanding, pun intended, and of serious concern in our world, be that in terms of climate change or simply our health. Some of this year's students are heading to do food science in UCD and human nutrition in Sligo. Past students have gone on to similar courses and are working in the field, although we have had former students with business ideas 
who simply want to upskill. A number of this, year class, this year's class are going on to complete the first year of the IT Sligo General Science degree. The last course that I want to talk about is the Applied Science Pharmacy Studies course. In the last year, frontline workers have kept us afloat. And in all of this time, pharmacists, pharmacy technicians, and pharmacy assistants have been on that front line. Modern pharmacies sell a variety of products other than simply medicines. And in this course, you will learn about retail selling and display. You will learn about medical terminology. You'll also get a greater understanding of how the body works. There is an opportunity to complete the Irish Pharmacy Union Medicines Counter Assistant course. This extra qualification is very useful when seeking employment. Former students have gone directly into employment in many pharmacies around Cavan and beyond. Others have chosen to study to become pharmacy technicians, either in Ireland or abroad. We even have had former students who've gone on to study to become pharmacists, and we've one currently finishing off her qualification in Aberdeen. It is worth noting that this course can also be used for progression. And you're not locked in to a distinctive career, and you can go on to any science qualification in Ireland if that's where you choose. Now, all of the courses that I've talked about also complete work experience as part of the award. Work experience is very valuable and students are supported in finding work placement. We give them help in improving their CV and interview skills. And for some people coming straight from secondary school, their employment experience can be limited. And this module offers an opportunity to fix that. There's also an exciting opportunity to complete work experience as part of the Erasmus programme. This happens in Estonia in the University of Tartu. Now, being able to express yourself in a professional manner is key to many careers. Many former students have told us that the communications module was the one that helped them the most. In most modern careers, presenting information is an important part of the job, and this is an important feature of this subject. The communications module allows students to do what is possibly their first presentation in a safe and less intimidating environment. The lab skills module is assessed entirely by practical work and helps students become much more confident when working with modern equipment in a lab based environment. These skills can help students start to level with confidence and they stand out from their peers who are coming directly from Leaving Cert. Right, I'm almost done. So hopefully you have a better understanding of some of our courses. If you have any questions, don't forget to pop them into the Q&A section. I'm going to pass over to Malachi McDwyer now, who will talk about our very successful and popular Animal Care and Animal Science Awards. Thank you, Shane. That was very informative. Um, so uh, if you're sitting watching this presentation and you're waiting to hear about uh, animal care, and you may have a question in your head such as, well, where do I start? I've an interest in animals and I don't know where to start. I don't have much experience. Well, let me take you through it. I'm going to take you through the QQI level, Animal Care Level 5 and the Animal Science QQI Level 6. My name is Maliki McDwyer and I'm a tutor of Science in Calvin Institute. Please make sure to keep an eye on the question and answer sections throughout the presentations as questions will be answered as they arise. And also, if there's any time at the end, we'll have a question and answer session. Firstly, Animal Care QQI Level 5. This course provides students with an introduction to the animal care sector and what that entails. The subjects offered, uh, which we call modules, include animal behaviour, animal welfare, animal anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, mathematics, work experience, communications and animal grooming. This course is a standalone course where no prior learning is required. All modules start at the beginning and knowledge and skills are built upon throughout the year through continuous assessments and practical lab experiments, with some modules having an end of year exams, but not all. Field trips also feature in animal care to enhance and develop your skills. With animal care, 
you begin your journey learning how to work and care for animals using best practice. All modules are interconnected and some overlap to enhance your learning experience. For example, animal behaviour, animal welfare, animal anatomy and physiology and animal grooming are all intertwined. Vital soft skills are learned in communications and work experience modules, which prepare you for your work, for the workplace and for the wider world of work, business, uh, whereas the more theoretical mo modules, maths, chemistry and biology, provide basic knowledge and understanding of the core animal processes. Animal Care QQI Level 5 lays the foundations where on completions, students are work ready and employment ready to enter the job market, which many do. Many others, now confident in self-directed learning, progress to Animal Science QQI Level 6, which is offered here in Cavan Institute, or progress to many other third level courses offered throughout the country, which, will I, which I will come to uh, later on. Course fees for Animal Care QQI Level 5 are kept to an all time minimal at 650 euros, which offers great value for money. I'm now going to talk about Animal Science QQI Level 6. Animal Science QQI Level 6, again, is a standalone course where no prior knowledge is necessary. However, it is my recommendation that students complete the QQI Level 5 Animal Care uh, Award before progressing onto Animal Science QQI Level 6 to be able to hit the ground running. The modules offered in this course are animal grooming, animal trading, animal behaviour, large animal husbandry, animal science and health, kennel and cattery management, communications, work experience and research skills. At level six, students deepen their knowledge and skills working with both small and large animals. You learn how to care for animals in a professional environment and how to spot the signs of ill health and how to treat them. How to trade animals, considering the legal re uh, welfare requirements and procedures. How to design and manage kennel and cattery, along with housing of large animals. As with our QQI Level 5 award, Animal Care, at Level 6, the modules are again interconnected. Some of the overlapping modules include animal science and health, animal grooming, animal trading, large animal husbandry, animal behaviour and kennel and cattery management. From a business perspective, communications, work experience and research skills prepare you for working in industry. Again, all modules start at the beginning and knowledge and skills are built upon throughout the year through continuous assessment and practical observational uh, studies with some modules having an end of year exam, but not all. With Animal Science QQI Level 6, farm visits and field trips also feature to enhance and develop your skill sets. The fees for QQI Level 6 Animal Science course are at 620, again, great value for money. Students can apply online for both Animal Care QQI Level 5 or Animal Science QQI Level 6 by visiting our website www.cavaninstitute.ie. After completing either the Level 5 Animal Care or the Level 6 Animal Science courses, students gain uh, employment in a number of areas such as dog grooming, dog kennels, catteries, working in animal shelters, working in zoos, wildlife parks, working in veterinary clinics, or working on commercial farms and in equine centres. After completing Level 5 Animal Care or uh, level six animal science courses, many students decide to pro progress onto further education and higher education. So some of the progression routes available to students after completing either courses are our general science uh, level seven with Sligo Institute of Technology. And the first year of this is offered uh, here in Cavan Institute. Other examples include Veterinary Norton in Athlone Institute of Technology, Letterkenny Institute of Technology, Dundalk Institute of Technology, and University College Dublin. Agricultural science courses are in UCD, UCC, Dundalk Institute of Technology, and many more. Now, if you have any further questions about any of the science courses on offer at Calvin Institute, please contact our admin team 
on www.cavaninstitute.ie where we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And I would like to thank you for listening and I'll hand you back to Shane Troy. Thanks, Malachi. A few years ago, we approached Sligo to start collaborating about advanced entry into the second year of their science course. They countered with an interesting proposal to run the first year of their science programmes in Cavan Institute. And after a lot of memorandums and meetings, the Sligo science course started. We spent a lot of time getting in new equipment, developing new programmes, and there are many, many advantages to completing that first year of the Sligo science degree at Cavan Institute. One of the most important is the smaller class sizes. In my university experience, I was in a class of hundreds and did not adapt well to the large class sizes. I felt I couldn't ask a question and no one would notice if I didn't attend regularly. I'm not sure if the lecturers could even put a face to my name. And this is a common complaint in third level. The feeling of anonymity, along with the stress of leaving home and having to adapt to becoming a self-directed learn learner can be overwhelming. We advise potential students consider doing a level five QQI course before going to third level, but some people may wish to get straight onto their, that career path. Being able to be part of a science degree close to home and the support that provides is a fantastic opportunity for the Cavan region. The cost of accommodation is cheaper in Cavan, and for some students living at home, they can use that year to save money for their last two years in Sligo. There are great transport links to bring those who don't live close to our doorsteps. A common question I get is, will I miss out on the college experience? I like to think of Cavan Institute as a mini college with all the joys minus the stress. If you choose to do this course, you are both a Cavan Institute student and a Sligo student. We complete some of the practicals in Sligo in order to help ease that transfer to second year and we support students to get the most out of their college experience. If this course is of interest, then check it out on our website and the IT Sligo website to get a better picture of your options. Like most science degrees, students will study biology, chemistry, physics, maths and IT. And doing a level five course in Cavan Institute first will give you a great preparation to be able to get that degree successfully. If you have any specific questions, you can always email guidance at cavaninstitute.ie or get in touch with us at Shane Troy at cavaninstitute.ie. So I'm going to pass you over to one of our students, Mark, from this year, who has just completed the Science and Laboratory Techniques course. I'll let Mark tell you about himself and his experience of the course. Over to you, Mark. Thanks, Shane. So hello, everyone. Um, my name is Mark McGuire um, and I studied Science and Laboratory Techniques in Cavan Institute this year. So tonight I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself and my story. So um, last year I sat the Leaving Cert and um, when CEO and the offers came out, I um, didn't get either my first, second or third offer. So I got my fourth offer, which was just general engineering and DCU. So I accepted the course and um, then as time sort of went on, I decided then maybe um, engineering wasn't the choice for me. So um, I talked it over with different people and um, I decided then to look into Cavan Institute. So I um, went into Cavan Institute's website and we're looking through their courses. And the one that really stood out to me was the Science and Labs course. Um, so I applied for the Science and Labs course um, as I knew that it covered all the science modules that I would be um, that I would be doing if I got my course that I really wanted to get, which was either radiography in UCD or clinical measurement science in TU Dublin. And um, but from coming to Cavan Institute um, and studying science in labs, it is definitely I've learned the importance now of being able to hand in and complete assignments in time. And um, I've learned how to submit and them online. And also I've learned how to reference my information correctly, which is um, very vital when you move on to um, third level education. So in the Science and Labs course, there's nine modules, which are Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Maths, Microbiology, Anatomy and Physiology, Communications, Personal Development and Lab Skills. So I really enjoyed um, all the modules as there was a balance between both practical and theory classes. 
I suppose when by doing the practicals, you got more of a hands on approach. And um, to me, anyway, I found it easier to understand it then by actually doing it yourself. But um, before I attended Cabin Institute, I didn't have any. Um, I hadn't studied either chemistry or physics for the Leaving Cert. So by coming to Cabin Institute last year, um, it's given me a great grounding in these subjects. And I know now what to expect What um, when I move on to college next year. So what's really good about this course is that it's a continuous assessment um, course. So this means that you're constantly working throughout the year, but your final exam isn't worth 100%. So you're already going into the exams with um, with marks from your assignments and your practicals through the year. So the, to me, anyway, the idea of the continuous assessment was great as it takes with unneeded stress and that students put themselves under to perform. So finally, I'd highly recommend the Science and Labs course um, to anyone who's interested in progressing to a third level um, science related course, but also to anyone then who who doesn't know what sort of not even just science, but they don't know what sort of area um, to go on to study in the future. It's just a it's a great way to um, I suppose to figure out what you really want to do. So um, a year on now, and I think by going to Cavan Institute, it has definitely benefited me greatly. Um, I feel now that I'm ready to move on to third level education. And now I have a good idea into the insight of all the science subjects and I know what I will what I'll have to expect when I move on to um, third level education. So I'm just going to pass you back um, to Shane. That was great, Mark. Um, I know from speaking to all of your teachers that you have been a great student and look, we'd like to wish you the absolute best in third level in your future career. So thanks, Mark. So look, we seem to be at the end of our time. Um, hopefully we're not over time, but thanks for coming and joining us this evening. We won't get a chance to answer any of the Q&A questions on the webinar, but we're going to stay online and be answering them in the in the feed. If you want to make sure to email admin at cabinetinstitute.e and they can forward any queries to us, or as I said earlier, uh, Shane Troy at cabinetinstitute.ie and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Okay, so look, next up we have the hospitality department and um, I'd like to wish them best of luck and I'd like to thank everybody for coming on tonight. Uh, so thanks again and have a great evening.